Hi everybody! Um, I'm going to use this video to uh, show you guys how you can go and download uh, the free Autodesk student version of AutoCAD. Uh, that'll, that'll enable us to work online at home on our own computers and complete the course. Um, so here is the uh, the uh, link that'll take you to the pay this Autodesk page where you see the uh, free uh, student downloads that are available to you. So they say one you know, more than a hundred products available to students. So here you have uh, Revit, which you'll be using later in the course, and also if you wanted to download Civil 3D. Um, you could click view all products and that would take you to Civil 3D. For now we're just going to look at uh, downloading the AutoCAD. Uh, it takes up less room on your computer um, than the full-blown Civil 3D and we'll probably be uh, it, you know doing our surveying next year and using Civil 3D um, and in that case we'll be using version 2020 by then. So we'll have to re download it uh, for next year's work anyways. So uh, we'll download, we'll proceed with downloading the student version of AutoCAD version 2019. And please don't download 2020 because I'm using 2019 and I won't be able to open your drawings if you use 2020. So um, let's just click on AutoCAD because that's what we want. Okay, and it'll take us uh, to this page, AutoCAD. All right, so here you see um, uh, the, uh, the first page. Um, now I already have an account, but if you, if you haven't downloaded software here before, um, you will need to create an account. Um, so of course, uh, to do that, if I click on create an account, so you're going to need to uh, enter in all this information, uh, the country, your educational role, of course you're a student, institutional type, um, and then they will send you a, uh, uh, they will send you a, uh, a key so that you can uh, open the software after you download it. In any case, um, so you'll have to do that and they'll send you that. Um, I'm going to actually just um, use my sign-in uh, to download. So once you get that sign-in, that's all you'll have to do is uh, sign in with your username and password. So I just want to go over a little bit here the system requirements. All right, so for your computer, you want to look at the system requirements uh, for AutoCAD 2019. Um, so here it says uh, you could have Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 10, um, memory, you know, they, um, basic, basic memory is 8 gigabytes, um, although of course if you have 16 you're going to find the software works a lot better. For, for the work that we are doing, um, it's very simple drawing, so, um, you know, it doesn't require a lot of a lot of uh, memory. Um, so you should be okay with your 8 gigabytes. Um, and then of course your display resolution on your screen makes up a, makes a big difference. Um, if you're working on a laptop you know that that little screen is sometimes hard to work with. Um, so uh, if you can get access to a, a monitor, the larger the monitor the better of course, um, it makes it a lot easier to work. Again, if all you have is a laptop, that's fine. Um, with the with the drawings that we're doing, um, they're not that they're not that detailed, so we'll be fine with the laptop as long as you have a mouse to go with that. It's uh, I would say pretty well impossible to um, to do drawings in AutoCAD with uh, without a mouse if. You, from a, just using your, your laptop. Um, I wouldn't even try it myself, <laughs> but many have. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so if you can get a mouse, that would be really, 
really helpful. Um, your display card, of course, sort of like when you're looking at your gaming computers, it's the difference between, it's the difference in the, in the display cards that makes the difference in how fast your screen can update. Um, well, let's see, yeah, pointer device, a mouse, mouse compliant. And also, of course, AutoCAD itself will work on a, on a Mac if that's all you have. Um, the software looks a little bit different on, on the Mac, but if all that's, ha if all, if that's all you have, then, uh, you know, we can, we can use it. Um, oh yeah, and the disk space. So, disk space you will require in your computer for on your PC is six gigabytes. Uh, now with Civil 3D, if you decided to load Civil 3D, you would require 10 gigabytes of disk space. And that's just for the, the software alone on your computer. Okay. Um, yeah. So those are the requirements. Now, back out of there, um, and again, we want to look at 2019. Okay, um, you're receiving, it's an educational license, um, so that means that uh, it can only be used for educational purposes. And you will find uh, that when you go to plot your drawings um, to PDF or to a paper plotter, you'll find that the software will leave a watermark on the border of your drawings that says created with student version of AutoCAD. So you can't get away with using it um, for commercial purposes unless you want that watermark on your on your professional drawings. So that's just uh, something to keep in mind. We don't care. We're students. We we don't care if it's, if it's uh, stamps all over that we used a student version. Um, okay, installation restrictions. Yeah, it's licensed through students or educators may only be installed on the students or educators personal computer. Yes. Yeah. So just remember that, yeah, it is a, an educational license, so it's not the full, the full blown, uh, paid for copy. And, um, I believe there's a restriction on the, on the time too, that you can have it. I think it's two years or three years. I'm not sure about that. Uh, anyway, so here you go. Uh, you would sign in, um, to get started, you'd choose the version that you want. Oh, I guess I better sign in. Okay, so sign in and it knows me. Okay, so because it knows me, uh, it knows my password. Um, okay. All right. So here I'm going to um, set the version. Again, I want AutoCAD 2019 operating system. Well, you can have a 32-bit or a 64-bit with AutoCAD. Most most of the newer computers are 64-bit, uh, but you can check that by looking at the properties uh, in your settings for your hardware. Um, so I would pick 64-bit. And then, of course, the language. Now, some of you may not want English, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so you can have your AutoCAD in numerous languages. But I'm going to pick English. Okay. Now it says that uh, there's my serial number. Okay. So I'm going to need that serial number um, and that product key for when I want to activate my software. Other than that, you just click install now and wait. So I'm it will take quite a while to uh, download uh, the, 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 all the AutoCAD files and to install it on your computer. So just be ready to be waiting for a while. Um, I'm going to say maybe 
one or two hours. Maybe maybe that's an over estimation, but hopefully it doesn't take that long. But um, it it does take take a while. Anyway, so um, hopefully you have enough information and uh, and uh, have no problems. Good luck uh, <laughs> downloading the AutoCAD 2019 onto your computers, the student versions. Thank you, and goodbye.